Hello, sports fans and White Sox fans and baseball fans out there. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And today I am here with my second comparison video for the 2021 season of the White Sox to another team that they will play. And in this particular case, it happens to be the Anaheim Angels or California Angels or California Anaheim of Orange County Angels, whatever they're calling themselves. This is that video. And it's the second one in the series. I already did Detroit. I will put a link to both the current Detroit video and last year's Angels comparison video, which I did because I did 13 of these videos in a series last year before the season started, before I realized that the White Sox weren't going to play the Angels in 2020, as they didn't. But the plan is that they will play them in 2021, and on the current White Sox schedule, they will be the first team that the White Sox play in 2021, in the 2021 regular season. As a matter of fact, they'll start off against the Angels and then they'll go to play the Seattle Mariners. So, I don't know what that's all about. Usually they start off with a division opponent, either Kansas City or the Twins or, you know, um, Detroit, but no, not this year. So anyway, they will start off playing the Anaheim Angels on April, I believe on April 1st. And, uh... Right here, I've got my comparison video of the two teams, lineup, rotation, bullpen, and bench. So as you can see, the lineup and, you know, these the lineups, they may differ a little bit, but basically it's the same lineup from the Detroit video. I moved Yasmani Grandal down a little bit. And who knows? Who knows what Tony LaRusse is going to do with the team? He is, of course, this year the new manager of the White Sox. The Angels will have um, Joe Madden coming back as their manager. He managed them last year. So what we've got is, uh, as you can see here for the lineup for the White Sox, you got Tim Anderson at shortstop. He hit 322 last year in 60 games in the 60-game season that they had. Uh, Adam Eaton in right field. He is the new acquisition for the White Sox. They, of course, had him several years ago, and they brought him back. I expect he'll be the um, left-handed part of the platoon for right field with Adam Eaton. Then you've got Nick Madrigal at second. Um, and then uh, I believe I've got Abreu, Abreu at first. Eloy Jimenez at left. And then you've got um, then you got Grand then you got Grandall at catcher, Johan Moncada at third base, Lewis Robert in center, and then uh, Lurry Garcia, either as the DH or in left field, you know, interchanging with um, uh, with Jimenez um, possibly because he may be a better defensive left fielder. He's also a, an all-purpose utility guy and later on in the year as the year progresses you may see um, Andrew Vaughn come up and be the actual DH or platoon with or, or you know switch back and forth with uh, Abreu between first and DH. That's a possibility as well. Of course all of these decisions are up to Tony La Russa and probably only Tony La Russa, because I can't imagine that he would have taken this job without having full control over the personnel and the lineups and, you know, the rotation and everything. So then you got their rotation as Lynn Keichel, Giolito, Dylan Cease, Michael Kopech. Now, Michael Kopech sat out last year, so we'll see if he comes back and pitches this year. Um, and that's why I listed Ronaldo Lopez also as a possibility for the rotation. Even if Kopech does pitch, you're going to have injuries from time to time. And you're going to have Lopez possibly as a, like a yo-yo guy that goes between the, uh, the rotation and the bullpen. I, I could definitely see that being the case. Um, 
So then you've got, and then that brings us to the bullpen for the Sox. And you got Liam Hendricks, who we just got from the A's. Just, well, we didn't, like, trade for him. We signed him. Um, then you got Cody Hewer, uh, Aaron Bummer, Aaron, um, Evan Marshall, Matt Foster, Jimmy Cordero, and Jace Fry. That's a pretty good bullpen. Of course, we, uh, we lost column A, so basically Liam Hendricks just basically takes the spot of column A, but and I don't even really want to say he's an upgrade over column A. They might be roughly the same. But still, that bullpen, it was shaky last year at times, but these guys have another year of pitching under their belts. So we'll see how that works out for them. The bench, of course, you've got Adam Engel, but again, I think he'll be the right fielder versus left-handed pitching. Possibly, again, that's a decision for Tony La Russa to make. Um, Danny Mendick. Andrew Vaughn, when he comes up, when and if he comes up. Um, uh, Zach Collins, the backup catcher. I think this is the weakest position that the White Sox have, is their backup catcher. Because Grandall is getting on in years, and uh, to expect him to play every game at catcher is unrealistic, and to expect Zach Collins to be a good replacement is somewhat unrealistic, too. Um, Nicky Delmonico, Delmonico steak, and uh, then Micaradolfo. Possibly Micaradolfo, who knows? Maybe we see him, maybe we don't. Again, that's for La Russa to decide. Uh, not a bad bench, but as I say, it's kind of weak at backup catcher. So now that brings us to the, um, the Angels lineup, and I know it's kind of hard to see the Angels or the, uh, it was kind of hard to see the White Sox line up with the, uh, the overhead light going across it, but that's why I read them off. So now you, go, you come to the Angels lineup. Now, as I said in my last video, the White Sox tied for second place in the Central with the Indians, but were technically the third place team because they didn't, um, they had a worse season record against the Indians. The Angels, however, were the uh, they were the fifth pl or no fourth place team in the AL West with a record of 26 and 34. So they weren't very good last year, but that wasn't due to their lineup. Their their offense, the Angels' offense, ranked fifth in the American League last year. They were fifth in batting average at 248, and they were fifth in home runs at 85. And oh by the way. The White Sox were second in batting average at 261, and they were first in home runs at 96. So uh, the Angels lineup, their hitting, their regular players, aren't their issue. Their issue is pitching. So if you look at their lineup, they've got David Fletcher at second, Jared Walsh at first, Mike Trout in center field, Anthony Rendon at third base in his second year on the club. Shohei Otani at DH. Jose Iglesias at short. Justin Upton in right. Max Stassi at catcher. And Joe Adele in left field. Now, uh, you know, so there's some, you know, disclaimers in this lineup. You've got Otani as the DH, but, you know, is he going to pitch? Or is he just going to be their DH? Who knows? But this is what, uh, like I say, I get these stats off of Rotochamp because the magazines aren't out yet. So this is what the magazine said. It said Otani at DH and not in the rotation. And oh, by the way, the Angels rotation will consist of Andrew Haney, Dylan Bundy, Griffin Canning, Patrick Sandoval, and James Berea. Now, Last year, the Angels pitching was 13th in the American League with a 509 earned run average, whereas the White Sox pitching was 5th in the American League with a 387 earned run average. So, you know, there's that. Now, in their bullpen, you've got Raciel Iglesias. I believe he's their closer. Felix Pena. 
You got Mike Myers, who is neither the guy that was the killer in Halloween or Friday the 13th, whichever one it was, nor is he the guy that played Shrek. He's a different Mike Myers. And then you've got Ty Buttery and Alex Claudio, Cam Bedrosian, Dylan Peters, and Taylor Cole. A lot of these guys are guys that were on the team last year. Um, and in some cases, the year before. Cam Bedrosian's been with them for a while. Not a very overly impressive bullpen. Um, but, you know, they're going to... Now, you noticed I missed... I, I did list quite a few uh, relievers for the Angels. And that's because they're going to need a lot of relievers with that starting staff. That starting staff has issues. So, um, and then you've got their bench, Albert Pujols, the legend. Albert Pujols will be on their bench. Kurt Suzuki, the backup catcher. Now, here is what I don't understand. Why is Suzuki the backup catcher and Max Stassi is the starter? That I don't really understand. I would think it would be the other way around. Taylor Ward, uh, Luis Reng Rengifo. I don't know how to pronounce that guy's name. Matt Theis and Anthony Ben Boom. I love that name, Anthony Ben Boom. Matt Theis, of course, has been on the team for a couple years. So that's how the Angels stack up. Now, of course, he, you know, uh, this is another team, like I said about Detroit. I, I'm going to say the same thing basically about um, these guys, and that is that we should be beating them. We should be beating up on the Angels. Of course, we only play them maybe, probably maybe only six, five or six games the entire season. We, I, I'm, I'm going to guess we play them twice. I know we open against them for three. And I'm going to guess we play them only one more time. But I could be wrong about that. But still, they're a Western Division opponent. We're not going to play them nearly as much as we play the teams in the Central. So... Um, yeah, there's that. So, what do you guys think? You like our chances against the Angels? Um, are there any Angels fans out there that can shed any light on any kinds of uh, differences from what I've got um, here for the uh, for the Angels? Um, any insight is great. Leave a comment below. Give me a thumbs up. Share the video with others if you think there are other possibly Angels fans out there or White Sox fans or just baseball fans that would be interested in the video. And other than that, I got to say, and also subscribe to the channel. Definitely subscribe. Doesn't hurt. It doesn't cost you anything. And um, it helps me a little bit. It will help me in the future. So, um, and really right now. Um, but uh, anyway, that's going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.